Right guys, thank you for tuning back in. So now we're on our way back toward Bradford. So we're in Leeds. We're on a, a dual carriageway, so we're on the A64. Uh, we're heading towards the A647. Now it's heavy traffic, so we're looking at every road coming into ours. So we're looking at this dude in the van. We're gonna go a little quicker, but can you see how he's speeding up? That means he's coming into our lane. So it's important that you profile the cars and also you look in your mirrors very regularly every three or four seconds look in the left mirror if you are in the far right hand side lane and if you're in the far left lane you'd look in your right mirror the reason for that is you're looking for motorcyclists filtering through stationary vehicles so we're following the sign for the a64 bradford so we're going to move in the far right hand side lane we're going to maintain this lane and we're going to have a quick glance in the left mirror because the road bends to the left now we're looking at the floor markings, we're going to choose lane 1 or lane 2 of Bradford. Now that we've chose lane 2 of Bradford, because it's a spiral roundabout, we're going to move into the lane on the left as we go past the next exit. So we're going to quickly look in the door mirror on the left, looks good. We're going to look again just in case somebody makes a mistake. Now we can see the floor markings telling us to move into the lane on the left. Here we are, we're in the correct lane. So as we're going ahead we're looking at the cars in the lane on the right possibly pushing into our lane assuming it's a normal roundabout and now we look at the white van just in case he comes into our lane and now we look into our left mirror just in case of the motorcyclist and we lean towards the right of the road that we're in to leave a little bit more space on the left now we look in the left door mirror and we can see a taxi now the taxi makes a decision either he becomes a taxi driver and does this or he comes in behind us like normal people do but because it's a taxi it's obligatory for them to overtake you despite the speed that you may be traveling at so it's important that you look out for vehicles like this that drive on muscle memory rather than the rules of the road now we look in the left door mirror again and we're looking for buses that are traveling in the bus only lane now why do we need to look out for buses in bus lanes is because the traffic lights that are red at the moment will go green for a taxi or a bus that's in that lane approaching them traffic lights what we call auto switching so we look in the left door mirror and there is no bus coming at the moment we look in the left door mirror again so it could be a bus it could be a taxi it could be a motorcyclist incidentally that robot looking camera that you saw on the left is a camera that picks you up in terms of uh, any sort of fines it needs to give you so now that traffic's calmed down a little we're still looking ahead where the uber driver is the uh, delivery roo delivery do driver or where the bus is the reason for that is if there's an ambulance coming down the road he will be in the center of the road possibly in your lane so quick look in the left door mirror here see what's going on and then we look ahead and making sure that the road is clear the road is safe and it's appropriate for tra to be traveling at the speed limit and that's how we drive at a faster paced road so we're looking at the sign on the left we're following the sign for bradford it's telling us that bradford bears right at these traffic lights